from age, I don't know, 18 to like 25. Um, I was like that, you know, my entire Instagram feed was, you know, shirtless pictures, pictures in my underwear, um, flexing all the time. And there was an audience that loved that. And I think that probably around 26 was when my cockiness turned to confidence. And I didn't feel the need to have to portray that this is the only side of myself. Um, and I think that one of the things that people in the industry do is they relay so much, or I could use the word rely, rely so much on, on the one aspect of themselves, which is their body. And people will, will look at you like, okay, well, there's nothing else to you, you know? And when people were looking at me like that, I'm like, okay, well, but I'm in great shape. And that's the only thing you could relate to is just being in shape. And you never really realize the type of negative impact that has on yourself mentally and the people around you. Um, but there has to be an understanding that there are more facades to, 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 to you as a person. And, and I hope that everybody understands that there's more to you than just being in shape. You know, you can still go to the gym six days a week without showing everybody 50 times a day that you have abs. You know, um, I think that it got to me to a certain point where I'm like, man, like I'm tired of looking at myself in underwear. I'm tired of looking at my entire Instagram page is my abs. Like there's nothing else to me now. I'm just a body, you know, I'm just a, a meat bag. And, um, I think that one of the things that I, I, I picked up one too, was when I realized that I wanted more sincere relationships with people. And I didn't really grasp that completely at that time, but I realized, okay, well, you know, for example, Unfortunately, one of the, the, the things that people view you as is, is, is the first impression. And if your first impression is just you in underwear and flexing your abs all the time, people are just going to look at you as, OK, well, you're, you know, you're you're um, fickle and there's not a lot to you. But, you know, what Garrett does when he goes home, Garrett would spend time reading books and researching and going to the beach and nature trails and, you know, traveling, doing all these things. But nobody knew that. Um, so I was like, OK, well, why don't I start sharing some of these other more personable sides of myself? And I realized that the connections and relationships that I was gaining with people through some of these other things were so much more meaningful. Like, yeah, I, I still go to the gym five to six days a week. You know, I have a fitness TikTok where I talk about more than just my abs or flexing my abs all the time. You know, I have a, another fitness Instagram page, but I've, I've diversified what I, I, I share with the world about myself. And in turn, this has made me feel, wow, like there, there's more to me than just this. And I think that people who are stuck in that mindset, um, haven't really gotten to the point of comfortability where they realize they can share these other things with other people and people are going to like them or not like them. And that's okay. It's not about everyone liking you all the time, you know, um, be true to who you are. I, I really, I'm a big believer in that now.